Spooky Scary Sunday for the new folks around town. It's a show where every Sunday, the samurai come together as the beautiful tribe that we are. We come together and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. You go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin, use the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday, and leave a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video gets picked, you get a shout out. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks. Y'all probably got a whole bunch of Halloween candy, which I got some dots, some Swedish fish, and probably some Mike and Ike's, huh? And with all that being said, first video. <laughs> First video of this week is called lasagna and it was uploaded by meat canyon can't be a halloween special without meat canyon now can it now this was sent to us by cloudy who said haven't seen a meat canyon since she came back love the merch garfield cartoon hey liz hey john you ready for the movie yeah i've been looking forward to the movies all week one second i just need a couple of minutes to get some stuff sorted out inside with the animals before i leave cool uh here we go what? Garfield, would you come in here for a moment? Meow. Meow. What? Meow. Oh! Meow. What? Can you tell me why you decided to get into the lasagna again? Tell me why you thought that would be okay! Me <laughs> meow. 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 I'm sorry, John. What? I'm sorry. That's not Garfield. Why are you speaking to me, cat. Cats can't speak, can they? That's not a can cat. They? Oh my gosh. <laughs> good. Now make bread. Make bread like a good cat. Go on. What? Be my little baking boy. What? Oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. I don't like that. Something smells good oh, oh, in here. Oh. Baked. Good. Leave, woman. Hey, what's up? Leave. Everything going okay in there? I, I heard some shouting about a bakery or something. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I just ruined a batch of bread I was working on. I'll only be a second longer. Homemade bread? Mmm, that sounds She's good. Still sticking around? Please, take your time. Take your time. Oh heck, man. Oh, Garfield. Oh, she's so nice. I can't believe it. Me, John Arbuckle, in love. <laughs> Huh, who would have thought? Uh, I don't know. I just... I got a good fi- Why is he tooching that thing like that? You're not really a cat. Why are you tooching, sir? Like, she wouldn't judge me or... Like, she would just accept oh, me for who I am. No, she would. She wouldn't be such a pain to train like you, Garfield. Always putting up a fight. <sighs> Can he stop times over. tooching? I'm just looking for a lady, Garfield. Someone who will stand by my side, but... But they're all so stupid! They pack away at my mind! They always make things so difficult! What are we watching? I wonder if she wants a small wedding. She better not want some big fucking wedding! All they think about is money, all they want Why is money, 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 money! I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure she wants a small wedding. I, I, I'm, I'm positive. 100%. Not only a wedding, but I wonder if she wants a big family. Oh, I hope she wants a big family. Oh, God, oh love a big my! Family. Somebody to love. <laughs> it's like Stop 50. Looking at me! I already fed you. How much more can I give you? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I don't know, Garfield. I think she's. I think she's the one. I really do. I really do. Ah, <laughs> God, the future is looking bright. Why you got that hammer? Behave yourself. Hey, sorry about that. Let's go. I better not fill up on popcorn. That lasagna you were talking about sounded good. Did this dude just anamorph at the end? Now run that back one more time in slow mo. A girl heard her mom yell her name from downstairs. So she got up and started to head down. Oh. As she got to the stairs, her oh. mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard it too. So what I want y'all to do is put yourself in that position. 
You hear your mom or your dad call you from downstairs. As you're about to go downstairs, your mom or your dad grabs you and says, I heard it too. S tier terror! Heck no. Heck no. Stay. And it Stay keeps just and don't make a sound. Calling her name. Why does it keep calling her? Just watch your mom get body. What's up with the glitchy? Don't make no noise. Oh my god. Why would you leave that early? Good job. This one just gives me a queasy feeling, man. Just, just makes me feel uneasy. The first video of this week is called King of Mukbang, and it was uploaded by Me Canyon. Now this was sent to us by Yoke, who said, this isn't exactly scary, but made me really uncomfortable, especially the end. But I mean, it's a Me Canyon video. We all about to get uncomfortable. Ooh, doesn't this look good? Ew. Oh, it got on my shirt. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Why does that guy do that? I don't watch the guy. I know his name is Nicado, Avocado, something like that. I've seen the memes of him dropping food and he's... Ooh, doesn't this look good? Mm. Oh, it got on my shirt. All right, last pause. Notice he... <laughs> He ate that food without even stopping talking. He said, doesn't this look good? Like, he just kept... Ooh, doesn't this look good? How do you oh, do that? Oh, it got on my shirt. Ah, oh my gosh, I'm out of food. No, you're not. What? It's your fault. Huh? Ooh, look at this, though. Mm, that's tasty. I know all you trolls come to my channel and tell me to eat healthy food, but then if I eat healthy food, no one watches the video. So what? I'm just gonna do what I've always done, and I'm gonna eat these spicy tacos. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, I, I kind of got mixed feelings about that, but I'll save it at the end. And I'll be back tomorrow to eat more Taco Bell and Takis. Wow. <sighs> oh boy. We got the gold play button though. Right? It's worth it, right? We need to retake this photo. Wait, which one? The one where we went to Florida a couple years back. Uh, it was such a nice time. Mm. Wait, huh? What? Did we ever get more cheese at the store? I need it for a video. Gonna try and record two more today. If I keep uploading at this rate, we'll be able to get that house we were looking at. Wow. Who knows? Maybe we can even get matching G-Wagons. <laughs> What's happening? What? Oh. Uh. Why is everything melting? No, 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 no. Uh, What's happening? I'm confused. Uh. Uh. Huh? Um, this is a problem. It's like an episode of the Twilight Zone. Touch me! Whatever he touches! Oh! 
Garland, no! <laughs> the wall. The wall. What? This is crazy. This music is like so epic. I feel like I'm watching a real movie right now. Shout out me, Kenyon, bro. What? Oh, you're done, Zo. And then he ate it. Dang. I feel like that was like a, there's like a lesson in there somewhere. Nikado Avocado. Listen, bro. You don't know me. And to be frank, I don't really know you. But human to human, take care of yourself, bro. The video presented your motivations for doing all of this as like, money play button g wagon you know what i mean i don't know if that's really why you do what you do i understand things get crazy you get a big following on the internet you feel pressure you you got a expectations i live this life beyond all of this internet persona youtuber all beyond all of this you got you and just as another guy on the internet take care of you you can still give use without uh, I mean, it's funny. Yeah, it is. But you should never feel like you have to kill yourself in order to give views. This was sent to us by Monet Gray, who said, This video is terrifying, and I'm gonna have nightmares now. Well, I'm sorry about your impending nightmares, but we got you covered here. Monet, your mouth, please. This is... Art is beautiful. The visual. Um, what? Oh, oh, hold on. The video just got big. Let me stop that. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. I got to expand. What do you mean by that? All right, my bad, my bad. We're back. What? Okay. So cool. Okay, got some little origami going on. Oh, little sailboat. Nice. What? What kind of style just changed? What? Are you looking at me? Um, this is crazy. That was just the intro? Okay, time out. Bored kid. You just out here making stuff like this? 5,000 views? Do you have a YouTube channel? Oh, they have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I'll be linking that. Oh, is she dreaming? <clears throat> Hello? What? What does that say? Missing? I think so. Hey guys. Uh uh Attack on Titan? <laughs> he sure is. 
sure didn't look like one of those crackhead titans. Alright, she's having some sort of like... She probably has some Taco Bell for dinner. Having all these lucid dreams. Hello? Uh, I'm gonna censor those. I don't know what what you are. Um, no disrespect. I just. Okay. Go there. Guys, I, I'm at a loss. I don't. I, just, I feel like I just ate some mushrooms, or I don't really know what's going on here. I mean, I like it. I'm just unnerved. It's the best way to put this. that what was that you're not about to no you're not about to escape by that scary right there. What the fuck? She killed her whole class. She killed her whole class. <gasps> She's like, it was just a cut. It wasn't just a cut. It wasn't just a cut. You drew this? More kid? You were forgiven. Oh, my. so many different animation styles beyond even the plot of what we just partook this looked like it was a lot of work 
Harrison, Trender, you're freaking fire. But my theory is she has some crazy, crazy Taco Bell, right? You know you can't be eating crazy, greasy, nasty, sludgy fast food like that and then go to sleep. So she went to sleep. She started having these night terrors, right? In the dream, she thought it was just a dream, but no, it was real life killed her best friend in a uh, knife with a knife regardless that was very scary and that is top three spooky scary sunday animations we got there's a man in the woods and then we got this one and then there was another one where it's like somebody that was like falling asleep in class the animation styles of these top three harrison you really put your foot into this This was freaking wild. Monet Gray, thank you for sending us a gem. Art assistance by Rachel Ryan. Shout out to Rachel. What? <laughs> Guys, this video, first of all, let me show my respect. I didn't even know the video was on YouTube, right? It has 1,500 views. Bored kid. 2,900 subscribers. This is one of the craziest short films on this website. Samurai, please give them their flowers. Go subscribe. <laughs> Now, the last one for this week is called Evil Eye POV, and it was uploaded by True Horror Stories POV. Let me turn this light off though, because this is the only way that you watch a true horror stories POV video. Ooh, it's dark, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. You know how fun it would be? Like if we was in real life friends. Hit that like, yo, scoot over. Yo, move. Hand me, hand me the hot Cheetos. I got issues. Uh oh, uh oh, my subtitles. Hey, hey, hello. Oh. Somebody. Oh. What happened? Did you pergi je lah, biar tak lihat lah. Kamu lah, ikut apa bos? Tak lihat. Wah, bi, I tak lihat pinggang I macam nak patah sih bi. Dah lagi. What happened to your back? Kandung lagi macam ni. Oh, pregnant? Kita lagi berkat dalam susu orang. No, I really cannot. Please go. Kau, 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 kau tak lama lagi lah. No, I really cannot sayang. I I love how she just switches to English sometimes. She'd be speaking a language. No, really, I cannot go. Like, like, dang, bilingual like that? Kau, 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 kau tak lama lagi lah. No, I really cannot, sayang. I no, I'm not kidding you, kaki. I dah bengkak semua. I really cannot. What well, I really cannot. You just faster go to your friend. After that, you just come back cepat cepat, okay? Lari tau. I tau Fenji now. Okay. Eh, no, 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 no. You off pasal sejuk. I cannot. I cannot. Hmm? Just ah uh, ni buka tingkap sikit je is fine. Ah, uh, thank you, sayang. You okay? Ah, uh, okay, okay. I really tak tahan lah. You cepat cepat datang balik tau. Okay. I thought she was like, thank you, daddy. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Jadi <laughs> tak tahan lah. You cepat cepat datang balik tau. Okay, okay. Thank you, sayang. Oh, oh, oh. Lari tau. My bad, my bad. I, I was hearing what I wanted to hear, I guess. <sighs> okay. So she pregnant. She didn't want to get out. She just wanted to chill. He's running inside real quick. Drop something off, I think. Come back. I guess they're gonna go home. Simple. But it ain't gonna be so simple. We already knew that. What? Hello? Uh, I saw some red. I don't know what. You took three naps. Sam? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? How did the door open? <sighs> Is it that door? <sighs> it's giving me anxiety. You're my last name. I'm glad she got out of the car. I'm really glad. Getting a little claustrophobic in there. <sighs> I 
<gasps> My goodness. Sam? Sam? Get in the car. Get back in the car. Get your phone. <gasps> Hello? Stop it. What is that? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. It got quiet. Jump scare in. Here we come. Stop with the quick camera movement. Stop it. <laughs> rear view, rear view. Check it. Bro, why do I hear breathing in my ear? What? Oh, she's behind the car. Does she have the phone? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, they driving a Toyota? See? That was your first mistake. <laughs> Why is it whispering? Why is it whispering in our ear? Did that thing just cast a spell? I can't. I don't like this one. Oh, she fell on her stomach, dude. Where have you been? Oh, she passed out immediately. That was the end? Dang. Wait, are these stories connected? Is that how she got in the wheelchair in the next one? No way, she wasn't pregnant in the next one, was she? That just, that kind of seems like an abrupt ending. Either way, I freaking loved this week. Um, This is a easy 10 out of 10 week. Are you serious? We had ignore it? Paper body? Y'all for real brought heat this week. Did y'all get a 10 last week? If so, that's two in a row. Let's make it three next week. Send me the best of the best. Spooky Scary Sunday. Cause my name is Curry Kinchin. Now this next video is called Rat Boy and it was uploaded by Jail Soy Sol. Now this was sent to us by Nigel over on Twitter who said, Yo Corey, you have to watch this. By the way, I've been watching you since 2015. We'll forever love your vids. Nigel, loyalty. That's what we're all about. See, a lot of y'all suckers don't know. I said, a lot of y'all suckers don't know. I want my neighbors to hear. Y'all hear me, neighbors? Huh? you been here since 2015 everybody clap that up now let me ask you a question where have you been since 2015 you been here what's your name here we go hello rat pops from regular show as a kid hello rat Oh, I thought it was going to keep going. We're going to play together. Oh, what? 
Naughty rats get punished. Oh, oh no. You're one of those kids. Oh. Somebody. No, no, no. This is. You're going too far, kid. Look at a rat looking at the microwave like, no. Wait. Can you feel pain too? Clearly, no! I can help you to understand. Oh, that rat's dead. He cracked his own finger to press that button? Look at the rat. It is not your place to do this. Huh? Playing God. But you're just a rat. And you're just a boy. Ooh! It sure is getting hot in here, isn't it, boy? Yeah, for you. This overbearing heat must be making you tired. Let the heat wash over you. Or that. You're forgetting something. Um, my dad's tied up. No. Can't you smell something burning? Huh. This is wild. Where do you think you're going? Uh. Uh oh. Keep that door closed. <laughs> oh. 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 Is he in the microwave? Oh my gosh. Bro, that was incredible. Guys, more of the story. Don't abuse your freaking animals. All right, you guys, this next one is called Three True Hooter. <laughs> You wanna try that again, moron? Alright, you guys, this next one is called Three True Hooters Horror Stories Animated. And it was uploaded by Horror Shorts Party. Now, this was sent to us by Steph over on Twitter who said, Here you go, Shogun. I hope you had a good 25 part 4 birthday. Second story in the video caught me off guard. Terrence Nicholson! But of course, Ariane coming through with support. You already know how they do. Let's go. About several years ago, I used to work at an engineering firm where I would get carpal tunnel from typing on the keyboard all day. Uh oh. It was currently a Friday, so I figured I'd treat myself to a beer after my shift was done. Mm -hmm. 
Figured I could get hammered for a change, instead of heading home to an empty house with no female companionship. <laughs> During my lunch... <laughs> that literally made my camera die. What kind of existence is this? I come home, no female companionship at the crib? It's me and his whack Xbox? I remember googling any nearby pub and bar to go to. Watch I came across a Hooters that was located about 15 minutes away by vehicle. Mm -hmm. I had previously been to many Hooters in the past and always found it quite charming to say the least. If I had to describe it, I would say it was like your ordinary sports bar, accompanied by some of the finest girls who wore their distinctive Hooters attire, of mm -hmm. course with the orange shorts. Like I said before. Of course with them orange shorts. I've never eaten at Hooters, but I'm sure it's a hoot. <laughs> I'm sure it's a hoot. 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 I had been to many Hooters venues in the past, so going to this new location was really refreshing. As I made my arrival, it was roughly evening time, which meant that the place was probably hoarded with customers. I pushed open the front doors and saw exactly what I had anticipated. A bunch of attractive Hooters waitresses <gasps> we seen that person before. And a bunch of men flirting with them who were old oh! enough to be the girl's fathers. I made my way across the bar, while slowly glancing at the array of bottles behind this attractive bartender. I casually leaned against the bar as she approaches me saying, What you drinking today, big guy? Rum and coke, please. The waitress then begins whipping up the concoction while staring across the bar at someone. <laughs> at first, I couldn't tell exactly what she was looking at. But Look then I dude. saw a rather large gentleman sitting at a table alone, uh -oh. making direct eye contact with her. Uh oh. If I had to describe them, uh. I would say he was in his late 40s and doing? had a beer gut hanging onto his lap. I assumed he was just some creep who had a crush on the bartender. As the Hooters lady began serving my drink, I <gasps> nosily asked, They're working together. He gives her cues to whose drink to. I don't know, Rufy? He began serving my drink. I nosily asked her, Hey, is uh, everything okay? Not really. That weirdo across the room keeps looking at me. Mm -hmm. He's probably just a big fan of your drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not to mention, there's been a rumor circulating around town. Hooters girls have gone missing. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Hey. Oh I my gosh! Tell me why, as soon as I was about to vocalize, hey guys, that guy's gone. Hey, make me a beer, lady. Get someone else to do it. I'm about to clock out, pal. Make me a beer or else I'm telling your boss your shorts are tight enough to see you. Leave her alone now! <laughs> about five minutes after that bizarre encounter, I felt obligated to escort the lady outside the parking lot. And even when as far as I the lift, the lady took me up on my arm. Like, he literally just met- This is a stand-up guy, bro. Leave her alone now! Her, ...she wanted to avoid further confrontation. Oh, that guy! Creeps I've seen him before. Night. As I drove down the street, I began striking up a decent conversation with the lady. Everything was pretty swell she let him she take asked. her home? So, where are you heading after? What do you mean? Like, after you drop me off, are you heading home? Who says you're heading home? Huh? What? You know, you should really be more careful before getting into a stranger's car. After all, Hooters waitresses have been disappearing, haven't they? Oh! No! No, stop! Oh! Somebody help me! Oh! And that's why horror shorts party is to go. I'm thinking like, bro, I, I know this guy just defended you, but you you don't get in his car that quick. Look at his face right here. After all, Hooters waitresses have been disappearing, haven't they? Somebody ever hit you with one of these faces? Evade. <laughs>
This next one is called Two Little Caesars Pizza Horror Stories. And it was uploaded by MJV Animations. Now this was sent to us by Prep Harris who said the first one is crazy. Now, I love, love Little Caesars. You know, they've just come through at different parts of my life when I just didn't have money. You cannot beat a $5 large pepperoni pizza. You can't beat it! And it's like all these other pizza companies been seeing Little Caesars get carried by the hot and ready for years. I would have came out with a $4 pizza by now if I'm competition. Just off that alone, the hot and ready, and then the breadsticks, especially when you real hungry. The fat man was my least favorite customer. He's dressed like Peter Griffin. You could smell him come in before you saw him. Mm. Nearly seven feet tall and at Dang. least 400 pounds. The guy had a distinct smell. Something like cinnamon and burning hair. I didn't dislike the man because of his appearance or odor though. Mm. No, I hated whenever the customer Brad came in because he ate his pizza like he was going to war. <laughs> Brad would settle his bulk into a corner table, then order our largest deep dish pizza to start. That was his appetizer. Huh? He liked to work his way through our hot and ready menu. Me if a too. particular item caught his attention that day, he ordered double. His mid-meal break was a triple order of crazy bread, an order of wings, and all of this was washed down with liters of Diet Pepsi. All right. The way y'all be taking me off. Y'all got all this food and have the audacity to be like, I'm gonna save a little calories with the beverage. If you don't get a regular... <laughs> Brad ate terrified children and ran off other customers. He hit the pizza harder than the Allies when they stormed Normandy Beach. Oh my Globs goodness. of sauce and chunks of crust went flying in every direction when <sighs> Brad chewed. It was like someone set off a hand grenade inside of a lasagna. Oh His shirt, my. cheeks, and table were splattered each session before he was halfway done. Anyone sitting within a dozen feet of Brad was in danger of being struck by debris and the sounds he made when he ate. And I still have nightmares about the slurping, oh. chomping, gurgling, moaning oh. sounds. Oh, wait, what are we talking Suffice about? Suffice to say, no one ever wanted to wait on Brad. When and then they couldn't, like, exert some type of policy, like, sir, you can eat inside, but please, <laughs> watch the debris. He visited our Little Caesars after day. What's in the cooler? Brad grinned. His teeth were awful. Bro! Just some toppings I brought from home. We don't really allow that. Do I need to register a complaint with Little Caesar's main offices again? I sighed. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Just don't make a mess. Brad lifted his don't cooler onto the table and started poking around inside while I walked back to the kitchen to give them his order. Is when it I like some with hamsters Brad's or something? Diet Pepsi and first pizza. I nearly gagged when the smell from his cooler hit me. Inside of the box were dozens of plastic baggies arranged around a few ice packs. The baggies were smeared with a thick pinkish fluid and contained gray chunks of what I had to assume was meat. Whatever it was reeked like it was spoiled. You can't eat that, I said setting Brad's order on his table. The food in your cooler has gone bad. Brad just smiled and popped one of the gray blobs into his mouth. Get out. Then... Brad, get out. We tolerated you. You flicking debris at customers. But you're not about to pop no gray blob into your mouth in front of me. That's not, that's, we just not doing that. Licked the pink fluid from his chin. I retreated before my stomach betrayed me. <laughs> Look how he's walking the back, chin. bro. <laughs> this man is traumatized. Look how he's walking back. I retreated before my stomach betrayed me. Sheesh. The rest of the staff and I barricaded ourselves in the kitchen as well as we could. Every few minutes, I would run another pizza out like I was charging across a battlefield oh, dodging cannon fire. My. Brad's rotten toppings and wood chipper eating style scared away most of the customers <laughs> immediately. 
One brave family tried to stick it out, sitting at the opposite end of the room. But Brad ended up choking on a slice of pizza and coughing it up. The wad of dough and phlegm shot all over the tables and splattered the family. Brad started laughing, spraying more food. That was too much. I stormed over to Brad's table as the family left in disgust. That's it. You're banned from Little Caesars, I shouted. Brad just continued to munch. But I haven't finished. Finish up then. Eat as much as you want and more. But after you leave today, and you're more. banned permanently. Nah. Brad shrugged and thrust his empty glass at me. Refill. The big man continued to eat for hours. I'd never seen him tear. I mean, at the same time, the store is getting money. Like, this dude is spending, like, five times 80, $400 plus. And that's assuming those are all hot and readies, and that's before tax. They, they probably making more money than if, than if he ordered a couple pizzas and left. They ain't making that much with all total customers of the day. But still, like, you're just doing too much, Brad. Through pizza, wings, and crazy bread like he did that day. At one point, he slouched over and I thought he was finally done. But then, he popped up and beckoned me over with one swollen hand. I didn't know how Brad could possibly keep eating. The buttons had popped from his shirt, and his belly spilled over his legs. This dude is an alien. I want to try some of my toppings warm, he said, nodding towards one of the disgusting baggies. Toss those in the microwave for me. Absolutely not. If you do, I promise, I'll leave here in the next hour. I pulled my shirt over my nose and tried to defend against the stench and gingerly picked up the baggie with a napkin. I hurried back to the kitchen, poured out the vile gunk into a bowl, and put it in the I microwave. Even did that. The odor was overwhelming, and I knew we'd need to air out the kitchen for days to get rid of it. I immediately regretted listening to Brad's request. Maybe it was time to call the cops and have him tossed out. More! I heard him yell from the dining room. Stack them high. And I need a refill. Since I was watching the microwave, my assistant manager Bianca was the one who had to run out the next tower of pizzas and a two liter. The microwave beeped and I extracted the foul contents. When the steam cleared, I nearly dropped the bowl. Not because it was hot, but because outside of the little baggies, I could finally get a clear look at the toppings Brad had brought from home. Most were unrecognizable lumps of Is that an brown, ear? But one object was unmistakably, undeniably, the bottom half of a human ear. I placed the bowl on the counter, my face cold with shock. Before I could decide how to react, there was a shriek from the dining room. Okay, so I, I made it to the kitchen door just as Bianca came Dang. running inside, clutching her arm. Ooh. At first, I thought she'd gotten pizza sauce all over her hand. There was so much red. Then, I realized all of her fingers on her left hand except for her index and thumb were gone. Nothing but raw stumps. He bit me! Bianca screamed. She done lost three fingers over a minimum wage job. For the rest of her life, people just gonna think she's pointing at stuff. I tried to put the pizzas down for him and that monster snapped. I heard the sound of falling tables and a loud crash. Not one part of me wanted to go look, but I was the manager. The staff at Little I'm Caesars were counting on me. not about to risk my life. Wrap Bianca's hand in a towel and keep pressure on it. I instructed one of the cooks. You, call 911, I said to another. We need an ambulance and the police. I took a breath and walked out into the dining room dude. to find Brad on the floor. He'd fallen from his chair and knocked the contents of his table ever. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The man shoveled food into his jaw, swallowing without chewing. I couldn't help but stare. Once all the pizza was gone, Brad laid on his belly, licking his fingers. More, he demanded. No. More. For someone that big, Brad oh crawled fast. He came at me, 
pulling his bulk along with his bloody fingernails. I ran, tipping over a table and crashing to the floor. There was a tug at my foot. Brad had a hand wrapped around my ankle. He dragged me towards him, and I reacted on reflex, kicking out. My shoe connected a crack, and Brad jerked away. His nose bent at an unnatural angle. I said more, he growled, leaning on a table to stand up. But the table couldn't take his weight. The stand cracked when he was halfway standing, and Brad slammed into the floor, gut first. There was a horrible ripping sound, and I saw Brad's eyes go blank. He tried to rise again, but something was wrong. When he got to his hands and knees, it became clear that his body had finally burst from the pressure and the force of the fall. His stomach had a tear right around the belly button. Purple intestines and undigested pizza all spilled out into a wet pile. What are we watching? So hungry, Brad whispered before collapsing. They had to bring in a professional disaster cleanup crew to dispose of the body and mop up the mess. We had to close the restaurant for 48 hours. To this day, Brad's last meal remains the second or third worst shift I've ever had managing at Little Caesars. This dude said second or third worst. That was crazy. And I, I know what we just watched, but... I'm definitely about to get a hot and ready after this. This next one is called A Close Call, and it was uploaded by Llama Arts. Now, that one we watched last week with the crackhead pizza delivery guy making all them dumb decisions. This, I I hope this one's better than that one. Now, this was sent to us by Kudos, who said, Hey, yo, Corey, how are you? Loves from Bangladesh. Kudos, I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling with my community. We watching some good horror flicks. Bangladesh, though. What language y'all speak? Bangladeshian? Let me look this up. Bangladesh. I speak Bengali. All right, why does it say Bengala? Bang, banga, Bangla. So I'm gonna be honest. That's not doing nothing for me. And dang near neither is this. How is how is this spoken? Ami tomake halobashi. Oh, oh, chief, that's that's a tough one. Ami tomake. I was kind of killing it at first. Ami tomake Bangladeshi. Let me see that. Let me see how that. Ami tomake halaboshi. Halaboshi. A close call. <laughs> I had just reluctantly returned home from an extended vacation trip to Japan. After experiencing delicious food beyond compare, a beautiful country, and spending time with amazing people. Nice. Needless to say, I was a bit depressed about coming home. I'm gonna be honest. I was a little sad coming home too when I went to Japan. Had some good times, good times. Japan's a wild place. Wild place. On my first day back home, I went straight to my bedroom and passed out before doing anything else. Rather, I didn't have the energy to do anything else. Mm. It was probably for that reason that I failed to notice subtle hints that my home was not as lonely without me as I believed. Uh oh. Somebody Hours not- later, I awoke in the middle of the night to the sound of scuttling noises and the floorboards creaking. Understandably confused, I got out of bed and made my way into the hallway that was connected to both the living room and kitchen. Cautiously, I crept my way through the darkness, groping the wall next to me for balance in my tired state as I trudged forward. I, however- Let me give y'all a pro tip, alright? You hear something in your house, and you go to investigate. I'm not mad at you, okay? Here's where I'm getting mad at you. What if you find something or somebody? Y'all want to rewatch that? What weapon does my guy have? All right, you sloppily going down the hallway all groggy. Then what you going to do when you see a somebody in a freaking black ski mask just standing there? And now you, now you got to do something about it. Let me tell you how I'm walking through my house if I think somebody's in it. 
And I can guarantee you these buckshots don't discriminate. So you could get it, she could get it, he could get it, they all can get it. It speaks one universal language and everybody understands. Cautiously, I crept my way through the darkness, groping the wall next to me for balance in my tired state as I trudged forward. I, however, made the fatal mistake of stepping onto one of the loudest boards in the hallway, alerting whoever or whatever was lurking in the shadows of the next room. I paused, oh. as did the entity in the next IS THAT THE GRIM REAPER?! Shout out my guy Berlizzi. ...room, before a whoosh of air was heard as they retreated into whatever crevice they had come out of. Taking a nervous gulp of air, I walked into the living room and turned on the nearby lamp that dimly lit up the room. Looking around, I spotted not a soul, but rather some of my furniture was disturbed. What's more, a couple of my kitchen cabinets were slightly ajar. Bewildered, but with my guard up, I went over and closed them all before readjusting my furniture, by which point I had relaxed. Mm. I chalked up the odd noises and movements to my jet-lagged brain and shrugged, deciding to just head back to bed. Okay. I wish the story ended there, but I was not so lucky. You Before entering the bed. hallway to my room, I saw that the large metal covering to the air vent above the couch was missing. Mm. Peering up at it, I mumbled, What the? Before a crooked face filled with abject disdain for my oh! existence into view. Startled, I fell to the ground Get and began the crawling house. away as Get I heard out. the man begin screeching incoherently as he dropped down onto the couch. I watched in horror as his joints cracked beneath his raggedy hoodie and heavily stained there? jeans. He stared at me, silent now, before brandishing a knife out of oh! the back pocket and pointed it towards me. You're done, no? My house now! Mine! Mine! You got it! You left it! It's mine! You got it! He shouted with a slurred voice as he charged towards me. I hurriedly crawled towards my room and slammed the door behind me and locked it as he started jabbing his blade into the door, oh. yelling at me to die. Shakily, I called the police and sobbed as I told them what was happening. Thankfully, I was told a patrol car was nearby my neighborhood, and they would be at my house in minutes. I stayed on the phone and picked up a baseball bat just in case that deranged cretin broke down my door. Mm. A few horrendous minutes later, the police arrived and after a quick but violent struggle, they managed to subdue the intruder. Mm. After locking him in the back seat of the patrol car, the cops investigated my house and found that the man apparently had been living there while I was gone. But not just that. Apparently, he'd been staying at my house without me noticing for a few months. Wow. According to the police, they found paper stuffed under the couch that was filled with nothing but incoherent ramblings about how he planned to kill me one day when oh the time was right. With the dates next to each entry predating my trip to Japan by an uncomfortable amount of time. Frankly, I'm happy to be alive and relieved that the situation was resolved so quickly. But still, I make sure to triple check the locks in my home after that little incident. No, uh, bro. These are kind of stories that literally make me want to check my attic. I have the same fear. And it all started from this video I saw like years ago where this dude like went to sleep and um, he would notice like food will be missing what did my dude do he bought a freaking camera tell me why this freaking woman every night when he went to bed she would slip out of the attic go over to his fridge just just going crazy on the mill the first one of this week is called velma meets the original velma and it was uploaded by avocado animations which is not the guy that Never mind. Now, this was sent to us by Radder C. Jersey, who said, Hey, Corey, you got to check this out. It gives me mad chills. I want a neutral grain bar. Listen, <laughs> you didn't even have to tell me about the neutral grain. You know, they right here. You know that. Y'all know that by now. They right here. Oh, this one's cut in half, too. Oh, yep. I can feel it in there. Hold up. Listen to that. This one's an eight-monther. Some of these uh, Nutri-Grain bars are, are probably over a year old. I mean, honestly, they're props at this point. But if I, if I really could give them to you, I would. So, uh, Radderson, hit the deck. 
<laughs> Wait, did I call him Ratterson? <laughs> that wasn't even his name. Uh, <laughs> Ratterson? <laughs> it's Ratterson jersey. I said Ratterson. All right, I'm sorry. Let's start this video. Guys, look what I got. I found him right outside. Norville, that dog is big and brown, which is the exact opposite of Fred's tiny white dog. <coughs> what? Velma? I... <gasps> oh, yes, yeah, she knows the, the original. Uh, is something wrong? Yeah, you don't look too good. I need some air! Whoa. <laughs> She's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, nothing beats the original. Ah! so soon it's getting worse what <laughs> oh i love you you know that right no i love all of you. But I don't understand why you keep remembering. Dude. We'd go solving mysteries together. It was simple, fun, but you started overcomplicating things. I never really thought of it before, but why can Scooby talk? <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, it is a bit odd. Yeah, like, what's up with that, man? Jeepers, Velma, you might be onto something. And suddenly... <laughs> oh! Oh! The fun was over. So I took what remained, and I rebuilt you. I rebuilt the world, what? and we were back to our classic adventures, which you started to remember, again, and again, oh. and again. So what happens? I now? just want what we once had, yet each time I capture less of your essence. This being my most flawed world yet. Flawed? But we're meta now! <laughs> Ugh. Never the matter. I'll, I'll get it right. Next time. Oh boy. You're done. <laughs> Dude, he controls- Please don't run. I don't like to chase. 